taking tires off the Firebird. Don't know if I'm gonna have time to take them to the tire shop today because it's late in the evening. I gotta go to work tonight. So we're gonna get the tires off, check the brake calibers, you know, things like that. But hey, without further ado, let's get to it. Jack done played out on me, having to rig it up, but take a minute, but I'm gonna time lapse all this, so y'all ain't gotta go through it with me. Whoo, what a Jack got me tired. All right, I got this side up. Now I'm about to get my impact, take these wheels off, and shoot, I'll be halfway beat. We'll be halfway beat then. Yeah. Tears. Okay. Just my looks. The key that was in the car don't fit the damn lug just in the back. So I got to try to come up with something to... Get the lugs off in the back because I don't have a key for it. So, boy, I tell you, this ain't my day, I guess. But uh, I get back with y'all. Let me see what I can come up with. All right. Okay, y'all. Uh, finally, I found a socket that I had that will fit good enough to get them off. I definitely, I'm not gonna reuse these studs. So, anybody in the comments that see me beating on them or whatever the case is i'm i'm not gonna go back with these same lugs. i'm gonna change i'm gonna change all the lugs out so pay me no mind if i'm beating on them or whatever the case is I got the passenger side tires off and uh looking on the car man 
Man, I got, a, I got the Joker for a steal, man. That Joker got a lot of goodies under there, man. I'm finna get under and show y'all. Man. Man, that Joker got quite a bit of work done on it, so. Man, when I tell you the price I got this car for, man, y'all wouldn't believe it. But, uh, like I said, it do need some work, but man, golly. I'm finna get on there and show y'all a few of the things that it's got, you know. And, uh, I'm telling y'all ain't gonna believe it, man. I got, I got this thing for a steal. Yeah, man, they got some, uh, some tie adapters on there. On the front and the back. But, I'm believing that's because they went with so thick of a tie. In the back, they had some 325s, which I went with 285s with the new tires that I'm put on. But they had some 325s on there, and as you can see up there, where that tire was still, you know, rubbing against the fender wall, I guess, when you got down in it. So I'm glad I got that, you know, changed out, because I don't, I don't want all that. But, uh, yeah, they had the adapters on there, and you see they got some, they got some screw performance shocks on it. That was a pretty decent shock there. Uh, got a Hotchkiss performance sway bar. They got a G2 rear end cover. So, as a matter of fact, I need to change the rear end fluid while I got the tires and everything off. Yeah, I think that go right there. So I'm going to have to get another bolt to go in that rear end cover to put that back up there. But, all in all, that's looking pretty, pretty decent underneath. Stop, stop. Your horse got him bit me. Man, I ain't gonna even edit that out. Golly, y'all see how it is in the country. Start on horse fly just bit me good, boy. I ain't like, shoot you. But anyway, man, I, it's getting late. Gotta go to work, so let me go ahead and knock the rest of the work out. And uh, I'll get back with y'all. Man, I gotta buy me a better jack, y'all. This shit crazy. Make me work too hard. I was telling y'all about that fire. As you see, this is the aftermath. And this is the only spot that is rested in. So I'm assuming, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm assuming that the heat from that exhaust, because if you look at where the, where the damage is, which is here, all of this in here, it's exactly where my exhaust is that's where all the damage is so i'm assuming that it's from exhaust maybe rust too but man look at that that's carpet that's what, that's what caught fire that night my carpet caught fire so i'm gonna have to get i'm gonna get somebody to for now i'm gonna get somebody to just see it's still solid right here it's still solid around there so i'm gonna get somebody to weld me a piece of metal in there until I can get me a tub to put in there. But, yeah, that's that's where it caught fire that day. And as y'all can see, this transmission has been painted at one time or another. So just off the fact that it has been painted, I'm gonna assume that it's had some work done. So, I, exactly what has been done to it, I, I can't tell you, but I'm gonna assume that this transmission has some work done before. As you see, it's been painted before, it's dirty now, but it's been painted. The dry set, no, I, I I don't see somebody going through all this trouble putting dry, you know, new dry shaft, new rear end, or engine work headers to not work the transmission. So, you know, yeah. But, so man, everything, Everything seemed to be pretty solid, except for that spot. Other than that, man, this car is 
It's a gym for sure. Okay, you two. I'm done getting the tires off. Everything uh, as far as the rotors and everything, all the rotors look good. Although I may have to um, get some new brake shoes all the way around. I think I'm going to replace them and change the rear end fluid and change the oil and all this stuff. Well, I got the tires off, got the car jacked up. Might as well going to do all this stuff. But for the most part, man, this car got a whole bunch of goodies under it. Um, I was actually shocked to see some of the stuff because, man, the price I paid for the car, I was shocked even that it was even running. So the fact that it's running... The motor's pretty strong. It's got all these aftermarket parts underneath. And the title was clear. Man, I was shocked. So, hey, man, hey, thank God for the blessings because this this was definitely a gem. Man. And uh, I showed y'all the, the spot where it backfired at and the reason why I didn't want to drive it, you know, the, on the ride-along video because of where it caught fire at that night. But, man, uh... I'm going to call it a day. I've been up since 10.30 last night. I got to go to work tonight. I got to go in the house take a shower. I ain't ate yet. But I'm going to be signing off. Man, hey, I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, whatever you want to do. Tell a friend. Shoot, man, hey, I'm going to keep it coming for y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a nice day.